This was not my day to die. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I return to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son. ...with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and... ...I prevailed, but... ...I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? That was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning, but I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine.
Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nortnir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka.